Yeah, we're at the trap covering the sport of kings. Coming up this week. The headline story from Trinidad and Tobago, a first ever Triple Crown winning filly at Santa Rosa Park, giving champion trainer John O'Brien a fourth Derby win in a row. Four straight wins too for Jamaica's Horse of the Year Atomica at Caymanus Park. An 11th stakes win this year for the 50-year-old riding ace Patrick Husbands at Canada's Woodbine. His Barbadian colleagues in the USA, Safi Joseph Jr. in Oklahoma and Rashawn Latchman in West Virginia, also with added money wins. Plus our weekly stats on Caribbean success on the North American continent. We are at Santa Rosa Park in Trinidad and Tobago for the Derby in our opening story. The exciting cold Hello World, the big favorite with Noble Abrego aboard, standing in his way, his stablemate in the headlines, targeting the Triple Crown. The one horse, Hello World, the huge one to five favorite in the six horse field for the US $17,000 10 furlong run. The second favorite at eight to five odds in the four box, the undefeated in the headlines, eyeing the Triple Crown after her wins in the Guinness and the Midsummer Classic. Both these thoroughbreds trained by John O'Brien, who is on three consecutive derby wins and looking to make it four. Down the back stretch, Rico Hernandez, first time aboard in the headlines, replacing the Phillies regular rider Tristan Phillips, who suffered a recent injury. And they're taking control here, watched in the com box by John Rupert. So it's in the headlines. Hearts Gap is also up there in between runners now. And then comes Little Lady who is dropping off, then Hello World, and the trailer is blinding lights. They go up towards the back stretch. And in the headlines is the leader, Hearts Gap, racing in second, 800 meters to go. Theory of Colors is third. The favorite Hello World is now starting to assert himself as he gets some urgings from Abrigo racing in fourth spot. Then comes Blinding Lights and Little Lady had, has enough. They come out from the 600 meter pole and in the headlines has brought a four length gap now on Theory of Colors. Here comes Hello World now who moves into that second spot. Then we come back to Hearts Gap. Then Blinding Lights, they 400 meters to go. And in the headlines is the leader. Hello World is in chase in second. Theory of Colors is third. Hearts Gap racing that fourth spot then comes blinding lights little lady pulled up inside the final 200 meters and in the headlines is holding on for gl dear glory hello world is coming on now in the headlines is holding on here comes hello world and theory of colors but this is it the triple claim hello world is coming the triple claim Charlie Bryan. a really lovely looking chestnut filly this by headline news out of the precise sweep mirror B's passion becomes the first filly to win the Triple Crown at Santa Rosa Park. Jockey Rico Hernandez aboard for his first ever derby success. Trainer John O'Brien's third Triple Crown win this, second in four years, and a record extending 10th derby win. As the 8 to 5 second favorite, the latest tables in the headlines, undefeated now in five starts, lands the TNT derby by a length and a half over the odds on favorite Hello World in a John O'Brien 1 2 finish, clocking 2 minutes 10.72 seconds for groom Richard William John and breeder Mrs. Dan Scott. Moving along now to Jamaica, where the reigning horse of the year, Atomica, faced just four rivals in the Menuda Trophy, honoring the two time horse of the year, Hall of Fame inductee, and winner of the Super Stakes, a record four years in a row from 1999 to 2002. Atomica on a three race winning streak, not expected to be troubled, and wasn't. Winning like a one to nine favorite should, in command here, having quickened away from her rivals, coming off the final bend. Arriving at the 516th, Atomica is out in front and uh, cruising. They're all off their bits in behind. Outbidder being ridden strongly along with the head cornerstone and miniature man. Crimson has now accepted defeat as Atomica now begins to pour it on. Racing inside the final 316th, the stick comes out in the left hand and Atomica and Dawkins are away from them. Outbidder running on the spot with the head cornerstone and miniature man but is, is Atomica opening up. The big filly is back and in serious fashion inside the final 16th, Atomica will romp the Menudo Trophy and winning easily by maybe four and a half lengths over Miniature Man. The Oak Ridge Farms Atomica unchallenged in a stylish win, the third derby winner in a row to score in the Menudo Trophy after King Arthur's victory in 2021 and Calculus scoring last year. Champion jockey Dane Dawkins aboard for 11 of her 12 lifetime wins. Atomica by four lengths, chased by the second favorite, Miniature Man, 2.08 and 2 fifths, the winning time going 10 furlongs in the Menudo for trainer Gary Sabrati. To Remington Park now in Oklahoma, where the Barbadian trainer Sapi Joseph Jr., continuing to spread his wings all across the USA, scored another massive stakes win in the grade three Remington Park Oaks. 
Also, it's like winning the late August $1 million Charlestown Classic in West Virginia, followed by the $500,000 One Dreamer Stakes in Kentucky, then the $300,000 Master Stakes in Pennsylvania weren't enough. Safi with a fourth big stakes win here. His Philly honored the lady in the $200,000 Remington Park Oaks. Jockey Tyler Connor in the yellow cap, coming up on the outside, doing the job for Safi Joseph Jr. Quarter mile to go, and it's all ancient pace at this point. Up by a pair, ancient pace to the top of the stretch. Threatened one more time by Honor D. Lady. She is grinding into the lead of ancient pace. These two are on even terms now, with just over a furlong left. Race on in the Oaks, and ancient pace gives way. Honor D. Lady takes control at the 16th. It's Honor D. Lady out by length and a half, and drawing clear. Honor D. Lady and Tyler Connor take the Remington Park Oaks. Honor D. Lady with a third career win in second stakes round, following her victory in the Honey Rider Stakes in May at. Florida's Gulfstream Park, Safi Joseph's home track. Honor the lady by two and a half lengths, comfortably in the Remington Oaks as a surprise winner at seven to one odds. Clocking one forty four six to nine for eight and a half furlongs for Safi's 11th stakes victory this year. He's number 12 on the leading trainers list for 2023 in all of North America with horses earnings of over 7.9 million US dollars. Still in the USA, the Barbadian jockey Rashawn Latchman landed his 65th win this year and first stake strand this season, scoring in the Rachel Stern sprint for two-year-olds at Charlestown in West Virginia. After shooting to the front from the start of the four and a half furlong run aboard the odds-on favorite Direct the Cat, the 32-year-old Latchman was never threatened in the US $75,000 event. Direct the Cat on cruise control. Ran out of trainers, rallied up in the second. Mama March sent through at the rail, Navy Band and Matt Swan, but with a furlong to go, Direct the Cat cuts the corner and roars off the turn. Moves away by seven, now by eight, and Direct the Cat is a West Virginia bred monster. She takes a all the way in the Rachel's turn. Direct the Cat's first stakes win and second victory in four starts, winning the Rachel's turn stakes by six and three quarter lengths, clocking 51.89 seconds for the four and a half furlong sprint under Barbadian jockey Rashawn Latchman, who had three weekend wins at Charlestown. Now, among the most frequently featured riders on this weekly at the track show is the Barbadian Patrick Husbands, and there is a good reason for that. Over 3,600 career wins in North America. 361 of them stakes races. His latest Sunday's Victorian Queen Stakes with a husband's trademark last to first run. Back of the field here aboard the 5 to 1 shot, War Painter, and as he usually does, times his run perfectly. Coming to the home stretch and turning, Olivia Rose taken on strongly now by Never Silent, and they draw off by two and a half to Hurricane Clear to the outside. 454 rallying, War Painter starts to wind up. On the outside, Never Silent is flat to the boards to go after this leader, Olivia Rose. Down the centre, War Painter's the one finishing the best. What a run by War Painter through the pack, and War Painter's save for this stretch. Bold effort is coming. Olivia Rose tackled by War Painter on the outside. They are now in front by a length to 454, and War Painter, a fantastic win, and hands and heels at the wire. The second longest shot in the five horse field at five to one, but the 50 year old husband's a record eight times sovereign award winner as Canada's most outstanding jockey makes it look easy. She was just watching him the whole way, whole way, and started to get away from me. And I, I chirp at her and she responded. I, like, I hope I don't pick up this race too early, but she picked up the race and then she started to loaf, loaf, but she went easy. War Painter by a length over the favorite Olivia Rose. Eased before the finish by Husbands, 121.7 to the winning time in the Victorian Queen 7 furlong run on turf for trainer Kevin Attard. And finally now, let's close off the Assiniboia Down season in Winnipeg, Canada that formally ended last Wednesday with a Barbadian rider, Antonio Whitehall, reclaiming the jockey's title he last won three years ago. Fittingly, Whitehall won the last two races of the Assiniboia Downs racing year, celebrating here a win in the season's last race Wednesday night by a nose with a 2-1 to -one favorite Warriors map. Since then, he has already had a couple of wins at Century Downs in Edmonton. After closing the Assiniboia Downs season with 56 wins for a third crown, they are following title wins in 2018 and 2020. Whitehall number one by 15 wins over fellow Barbadian Damario Bino with Jamaican champion Chow third. Conspicuously, seven of the season's top eight riders from the Caribbean. Our usual weekly tally of wins for Caribbean racing men in the USA and Canada before we go. Since our last show, I've counted 55 victories, among them the Jamaican jockey Jermaine Bridgemahan with a stakes win at Remington Park. Kim Al Santo, the TNT rider, had three wins on Saturday at Hastings. 
three wins as well for the Jamaican Dane Nelson uh, that at Century Downs. And uh, there were stakes wins over the weekend for Blandford Stewart and Laris Allen at Lethbridge, where fellow Jamaican Trevor Simpson had a Saturday triple. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of Kings. Check us out again next week.